week two, day two, just continuing to build up that volume. The whole look is a little bit. <laughs> I went for the build option. I've lost about five seconds per hundred. Dom's got a race on the weekend. Rob's still down the bay. <laughs> Afternoon ride. This is the best kit drop I've ever had. Today's been quite tough, you know. Not quick, but, well, it's all relative, isn't it? But it was the easiest way possible. Just get that volume up. It was a stupid idea. Oh shit. Seeing as I'm in the stage of building back fitness, I thought I'd go over how I tend to go about that and the phases that I go through, and also the importance of building a good solid foundation over the winter period so that you can execute a good like pre-season period from January onwards. Right, just having to pump up the old tire on the van because I've left it far too long, it's got a puncture. I haven't used this car in or van in so long that it almost didn't start. The battery was completely flat. Tire pumped, I'll get it to swimming and then I'll get it into the uh, repair center for the tire because I can finally afford it. I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship when it comes to building back fitness. The hate being the fact that it is tough. At the end of the day, like your arms hurt, your legs hurt, like, things that weren't tough to begin with are all of a sudden quite tough. And that happens in a period of two weeks. And it's mental like that. It's just frustrating, but at the same time, I love the fact that you can see improvements week in, week out. And that's just so satisfying. And it's something that you don't necessarily get in the race season because you're just trying to maintain fitness, but also you've got diminishing returns. So when you get to a certain level, you're not improving at the same rate as you are when you're unfit. So that is what I love about kind of the build back through to fitness whether it be from like November to January or January to March, whatever it is, the sooner you get started, the better. Week two, day two, and the build is on. We've started back uh, building up the volume. Last week was about 20 hours, just under maybe 19 or so. And this week will hopefully be a little bit closer to 22, 23 hours. So no intensity as of yet, just continuing to build up that volume before introducing anything too intense. This swim, however, feels brutal. Every time I get in the pool and build back, my core is wrecking and my arms are always falling off just because of lack of conditioning, not because of lack of fitness aerobically. Now, the reason that getting started sooner rather than later is better is because it allows you to not rush, basically. And that's one thing that I've become a cropper with in the past, but also I see a lot with athletes that come to me, whether it be in January or March, they've rushed a period of training and usually they've got a niggle or injured and therefore they've not quite been as consistent. If you can give yourself more time, it means that you can just actually progress gradually into the training not rush things, not risk injury, not risk, risk illness because you're pushing your body too much too fast and therefore you're actually really consistent. You've got a good solid foundation and then you can have more to work with in the following months. And the more you can do this before you start the build into the race season, the better. Not just that, the whole look is a little bit. <laughs> Tough today? Uh, I was the opposite. I was starting fast and then fading. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell you, I've got to It's fine. No, I went for the build option to VO2 when it was meant to be an LT2 session and everyone else pretty well. Dom, you said you ascended. Everyone else pretty much did it right. You guys did it right, but you use flippers. I use all sorts <laughs> to get through today. Yes, and you swam it pretty much right. I just don't do, mate. So do, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> My, I've lost about five seconds per hundred for LT2, I reckon. Maybe four, but around that. It's humbling, to say the very least. <laughs> At least we're all in the same boat. Dom's got a race on the weekend, so it's okay for him to be fit. He was leading the lane today. Yeah, one off, I think. Nah, <laughs> you're going well. Where is everyone else? Yeah, like if someone could put a petition out to see um, where Guy where Guy of is. Where are you, Guy? Rob's still down the bay. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, where is Rob? He's just over there, is he? That's an inside joke. <laughs>
At the end of the day, if you're able to have a massive foundation before race season and good fitness and good endurance and good like injury tolerance, then basically you are able to retain that fitness throughout the race season. And then you're not like just battling against like loss of fitness, like prepping for races, whereas you can retain fitness in between those races and be able to race for longer in terms of throughout the race season before having to top up that fitness again. In terms of where I'm at with my kind of phased in training, I think this is quite a good example for other people like maybe you guys as well to copy uh, in terms of introducing yourself back into routine, back into training. But what I tend to do is I take what I was doing at like peak fitness just before race season or even in race season and then I take away all of the intensity and I take away a couple of the sessions in the week as well just to reduce the both intensity and volume i.e. overall load um, for the first few weeks leading back into training. So say my like peak hours are about 28, I'd probably start 10 hours less than that. And I don't do a Tuesday bike ride, I don't do a Thursday bike ride. All of the sessions have like an hour or two off of them, depending on whether it's swim, bike or run. And yeah, I don't run every day either. So it's about just steadily reintroducing the sessions that you used to do uh, in your peak and then introducing intensity once you're comfortable doing that volume. Like no intensity to begin with and then you introduce the intensity once you're comfortable with all of your program inserted and you're doing the volume. Afternoon ride, 90 minutes or so. I've switched it from Thursday to Tuesday because I'm busy on Thursday because it's Bougelet day and we're gonna go have some wines. Still kind of off season. This could take me up to two to three months before I get to that point. I mean, I, the first week back I did about 19 hours. I think the second week back I'll have done about 22, 23 hours and then hopefully maybe 25, 27 and et cetera. So I'll be to volume in about four weeks and then I'll start steadily introducing intensity one session at a time. One thing that does make getting out and doing the build back in from uh, my off season easier is good kit. And by God, this is good kit from Castelli. Christ, this is the best kit drop I've ever had. And I can't really, rate it enough like the upgrades to some of this stuff is unbelievable to be quite frank like this is just the alpha ross light jacket so it's rained it's, it's been sunny quite chilly and it's been perfect like i can't really recommend it enough there's some other bits and pieces which i'll go into over the coming videos and stuff but some of it's some of the best kit i've ever used and it, I, look i've used Castelli for years and I'm in a very fortunate position now whereby I'm sponsored by them or Saddleback. So <laughs> the value for money that they have is unreal. And if there was any sponsor that I would want, it is Castelli because their kit is just so good. It's always been good. Now I truly believe it's even better. Oh, well, it makes it easier to get out the door, but it doesn't really make the cycling any easier. That was a tough hill. Look at this though. Today's been quite tough, you know. Like, uh, what did I do? Four and a half K swimming, then a 10 K run, then this is gonna be a 90 minute ride. The swim was solid. Like I ended up building through probably to VO2 max to be quite honest, like not quick, but well, it's all relative, isn't it? But not quick for me in comparison to my peak fitness, but always the case coming off of, of uh, the season, off season even. But yeah, no, it's been a good day. Day two of week two, lots more to come this week. It's only the beginning, so I've got to try and make my way through this week now. It will be the easiest way possible. Just get that volume up, make sure that I get to week three and four still functioning well. Oh, shit. Grim. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. So sick, such a nice ride. But yeah, no, I, 
I'm meant to be running this afternoon. I wasn't meant to be riding today, like I said earlier. I was meant to be uh, riding on Thursday instead. Brugelet day, so gonna be drinking some wine and whatnot with them and friends. So that'd be nice, but make the most of that. Whilst uh, we're this side of Christmas, so that I can uh, spend January onwards being pretty committed to it all. But yeah, this, this is outrageous. Glad I'm out today. I bet it's gonna be chucking it down on Thursday. Chucking it down last night. I binned off my run. <laughs> Light, because I thought it was a stupid idea. It was a, it was a stupid idea. <laughs> I canned it. I always say, in two minutes, put your shoes on, get changed, go. If you decide no, fine. 10 minutes into the exercise or whatever you're doing, if you still decide no, fine to like call it quits. And that's what it is. Done. Oh, you've left a puddle here. Yeah. Because it was just horrendous weather. Whereas today I might get out and do a little one after this. It's in the plan. Luke's put, put it in for me. So might do that instead. We'll see. Right. No, uh, no run this evening. Primarily because I've got a call at five with um, a potential client and I don't want to be late for it. But also I thought I'd give my bikes a wash, so. I mean, this Tuesday was good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a lot better than the first time or first a week so it's definitely getting there it's just being patient and just kind of like taking each day as it comes and hopefully I'll uh, be fit for Christmas and then be able to build into the race season from January onwards. If that made sense let me know what you do in the comments below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.